York is famous for its medieval past, but many of the buildings that we live, work and enjoy time off in would have been familiar to figures from a more recent history. This series of short films looks at health and poverty in the city in the 19th and early 20th century, using photographs and documents from the Explore York archives. Come with me to walk in the footsteps of real people from the past and better understand what it meant to live in York over a hundred years ago. Can you imagine sharing a two-bedroom house between ten people? This was the reality for a family living here on Kitchener Street, north of the city centre, in 1909. We know this from an inspector's document in the archives. He notes that the house was clean and that the father worked as a labourer, but his recommendations to the family to simply move to a house with more space seem short-sighted. Do you think that this family, who received a small amount of poor relief, could afford to do that. In the mid-1800s, York's population exploded beyond its means, driving poor families into tiny, badly built houses. Clean water could be difficult to come by, and communities made do with one toilet between several houses. Areas with these conditions were known as slums. This is Navigation Road today, just off Walmgate. It's hard to imagine now, but this street and the streets leading off it were once considered slums. In the 1930s, the slums at Navigation Road, along with many others across York, such as at Walmgate and Hungate, were simply demolished, and the people who lived there were moved to new estates built by the council. How far do you think this solved the problem of poverty? The old houses on Navigation Road were still standing when this photo was taken in the 30s, York's tendency to flood made matters even worse for the families who lived here. One such family was the Browns. From this inspection document in 1916, we know that Mr and Mrs Brown shared their house with their three children, a lodger, William, and William's sister, Lizzie. There were only two bedrooms between the seven of them, with the Browns all sharing one room, so Lizzie slept in the kitchen. Taking in lodgers provided an extra income for the family, but it was not enough. The inspector notes that the bedding in the house consisted of just mattresses, the rest having been pawned for food. Documents like this are by no means unique and demonstrate how parents were forced to make heartbreaking decisions between necessities that most people in the UK take for granted. The Victorians considered themselves to be modern, at the forefront of change, just as we see ourselves today. Yet whilst the standard of living has improved vastly in the UK over the past century, poverty is still not a problem of the past. If you were a time traveller from a hundred years in the future, what inequalities do you think you would find shocking in our day?